We back. You guys know what it is. Bros, Bros talking, talking sports, sports, man. Please Make sure subscribe. you subscribe. Absolutely, Let's bro. Go. Good to see you, man. Glad to be you back. You guys already know. Black Friday, in case you guys didn't get the idea, okay? Live in the flesh. The day after Thanksgiving, we are recapping. We dropping these hot deals like Black Friday. You, oh, so, oh, oh, I like that, like bro. That. that was epic. <laughs> hey, we are dropping these epic takes from yesterday. Every single game that happened yesterday. Man, and you know what? We got to kick this off the right way. We're going to kick it off the right way, man. My team, my picks did not win yesterday. Yo Let's dogs, just say that, okay? The Detroit Lions up in Lambeau Field, which I don't know if we, we, we really know how powerful that field no, was. No, no. There was that. Uh, oh, there was a four, Detroit. Bro, oh. that was, that's what made it so even more epic. So, that, they ex yeah, y'all at home. Okay. Oh, okay. Crazy. So, y'all taking on the Green Bay Packers with Matt LaFleur at and, home and, and Jordan Love. Crazy. Man, Crazy. To, 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 to recap this game here, y'all, I'm going to just put it like this. The Packers got it done. Beat the Lions 29-22. to 22, And uh, I was surprised. I ain't going to lie. Bro, the world Lions. was surprised. The, the whole world. world. The Lions was 8-2. and two. And the Packers coming in was 4-6. and six. Man, you know what? I'm going to just say it right now. Jordan Love has found his rhythm. If you look at him last week compared to this week, he's making things happen. Not only did he put 268 pass yards, what topped that was his three passing touchdowns. That's right. Ties his career high. Yes. And uh, to take over for the King in Lambeau, uh, Aaron Rodgers, he's taking over the Green Bay Packers. He did his thing on Thanksgiving Day. You guys, he did his damn thing, just like bro said. One thing that I did not take into account was that the Green Bay Packers, they play in, on Thanksgiving Day, I thought, a lot. They haven't played on Thanksgiving since 2015. I did not know that. It's mm. been eight years. So the fight, the dog in Green Bay coming into Lambeau when everybody expected the Lions to win. Yes. Man, that was epic. The Green Bay Packers deserve their flowers because they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They whooped. On my lines, they pushed them square in the mouth. And I'll tell you what, it's not. it wasn't all offense. It was the defense getting it done for Green Bay. Man, I'll tell you this, golf must have been scared back there. Or he's thinking about his Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know, one of the two. But yes, definitely. The fumbles? He had some of that turkey grease on his fingers. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. What the heck, What the golf? heck, man? Three fumbles. Three fumbles, guys. Come I, on. One goes back for a touchdown. One, he did go so, back for a touchdown. So, I mean, what's going on with your dogs? Bro, listen up, guys. I Sometimes I think Jared Goff is Mark Sanchez, okay? Last week, he had three interceptions. That tied a career high. This week, he's coming out throwing, having three fumbles with the turkey fingers. Career <laughs> high as well. I Goff, know. you need to get it together. I'm starting to think that uh, someone's going to be on the hot seat, and it's going to definitely start with you. Man, you ain't never lied. Now, I'll tell you this. The Green Bay Packers defense put golf on the hot seat. But it was good to see. I like it. I like to see it's a little bit. It's a divisional rival game on Thanksgiving night, morning, whatever you want to say. They got it done. It was good to see. You guys, listen up, okay? As he said, the defense came to play for the Packers, okay? Rashawn, Gary, stand mm, up. Dang. Your fans, you guys, they was dominant on defense, forcing two fumbles, recovering one. He had three sacks and seven tackles, okay, you guys? He got the game ball, and you guys know he was eating turkey legs after the game, okay? I hope so. I hope they took care of him because he deserved it. Absolutely dominated. You guys, listen up. The Lions lost in week two to, to Seattle. 37 to 31 in overtime. They lost the week seven to Baltimore in that debacle. We're not going to talk about that 38 to six. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we just lost now. Listen, I had the Lions winning out. Now I'm going to actually take a step back. Sometimes I play with my heart okay. and I just go with the flow. All right. Talk Lions, I, I, I love you. Golf, not so much. And Campbell, I mm -hmm. love you. Yeah. And I love the fourth down uh, aggressiveness he always going for. He, but sometimes, mm, go ahead, talk that talk, bro. Be, five said, of those he, things. He, that was on Thanksgiving. He went for it five times on fourth down. On Thanksgiving. Guess how many he converted? Zero. Oh, was it zero? It was zero for five. Okay. And so looking at that, Dan Campbell, very aggressive, but there's a thin line between aggressive and reckless. Okay, I thought he was going to say insane. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Same thing. All right, listen up. Point. 
Dan Campbell knows what he got to do. Sometimes you got to be insane to get the job done. And the Detroit Lions, the Motor City, they know exactly that's the type of coach that they need. Okay. Yeah. Going forward, these next games, yes, we're going to take it one by one. We play the Saints next. And, um, then Chicago, again, in a divisional game, you know how hard that is. We got Denver, you know how hard that is. Mm. But Minnesota, Dallas, and Minnesota again. I still think the Lions could win out, but I'm taking it game by game. All right? Talk that talk then. Okay. To say, tell the people what you feel. Because I was just going to say. Go in Africa for a minute. So you ain't been away. hearing me go with the Lions winning out for the past few weeks. I've been away. I must have missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, because let's talk that talk. say. Super Bowl, I don't even know. I'm going to tell you right now, since I've seen, since I've been back, and since I've seen last week when they should have lost to the Chicago Bears, mm. and they uh, get something done in the last 30 seconds. Game. One man in divisional game. Who cares? It's the Chicago okay. Bears. They Ooh. might be getting the number one overall pick next year in the draft. So Ooh, I will shit. say this. Okay. Dan Campbell, yes, he is that man. He, he goes, he does things Respect. that some other coaches are just a little afraid. But when you got Jared Goff throwing three interceptions the week before and this week fumbling three times. Talk that talk. Listen, can't you can get the yards, that. but you can't get the W. That is a problem. And I don't know if they're going to be able to get it done in the NFC to even get past and make it to the Super Bowl. All right, bro. But listen up. I, I, I appreciate that. But the reason why they're going to be able to get it done is they got some bad men on their team, okay, you guys? Montgomery, David Montgomery, he has 71 yards, one TD. You already know how much he gets in. Gibbs, St. Brown, Raymonds, Laporta, they gets, they puts work in, all right? Goff, yes, he's, he's struggling right now, but the Detroit Lions and their team around them, along with the coaching they have, will allow them to prevail. I said on my take earlier that this ain't going to be a season that Detroit just gets into the playoffs lose the first round and go home or win the first game and then lose the next. Nah, 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 nah. We are going all the way. Detroit, stand up, get your stuff together, and let's mm. make it happen. All right, because we're going to have to see it on prime time. You know, playoffs are prime time, just like Thanksgiving is prime time. And when it was out there looking like they didn't even know what play to call because it was getting whooped so bad, I was oh. like, all right. They had some turkey before the game. Okay, must guys. have. They All must right. have. They, did. they was waiting on it. But, uh, yeah, no, to, to credit my bro, because <laughs> we is on bros talking sports, they are 8-3. and three, So they have a very good shot of getting there. It's just a matter of getting the Ws and not the Yards. Packers are still two games behind They're in the my Lions. Okay? Better watch out, Lions. All right. All right. Next up, that was epic. That was epic. Oh, that, Next up, guys, yeah. next game the afternoon was those Washington Commanders going into Jerry's world. Man. Cowboys Stadium. Man. They were rocking. Are is it Arlington, Texas? Man, yes. Man, let's go, let's you guys. Go. The Cowboys, listen up. 431 total yards. They put a smacking on them, boys, or on them commanders 45 to 10. Man, the pass game for Dallas is doing something special. I think they're acquiring a Brandon Cooks is what they need. Huge. And That's so huge. he's he, he's able to create huge. separation. And when you can do that, it makes it so much easier for Dak to sling it to him in the end zone. And that's what he did Thursday night. That's right, you guys. This is the 13th home victory for the Dallas Cowboys in a row. Mm -hmm. That is right. We're going to give respect where respect is due today. And then I'm going to flip it on you, okay? Mm -hmm. Like ham. On turkey. <laughs> on turkey. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go, okay? Jerry Jones said this game yesterday was one of the best games of his entire career. Did you see that? I did not. He said he includes Super Bowls in that conversation. Mm. You know what I said? What did you say to that? Stay off the week. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A., listen up, you guys. Jerry, uh, that was the most ridiculous statement I heard all week. Okay, man, I've been hearing a lot of ridiculous statements from Jerry <laughs> this week, man. Talking about we, we put in Jimmy Johnson in the Hall of Fame. So that coming over to what he said this week. Yeah, I think well, he's, he, man, he's he, getting up there in age, y'all. I don't know. He was making a good point. He's 45 to 10 on Thanksgiving night. I mean, that's almost a record. Yeah, yeah. Points on Thanksgiving? I mean, you're very close. Okay. Hey, so, Cowboy fans should be happy. And to see, you know, not only – Divisional game? Not on divisional game, usually they're close. 
but to do it on the defensive side of the ball as well, we got to see uh, history in the making. That is right, you guys. Listen up. As bro said, defensive uh, history in the making. Deron Bland, once again. Another pick six. Another pick six. How many is that? All right. A five banger on him, you guys. Man. Last week, we thought he was doing something. He said, nah, -uh. man, we're going for another one. When you think of a lockdown defender, you think of Deron Bland. Normally, when you think of that, you think of who? Dallas Cowboy, old school, now coaching for Colorado. You think uh, of prime, prime time. time. Okay. Deion Sanders. All right. But now to have Deron Bland coming in and just being a shutdown, taking it back to the house, it wasn't an easy pick six. That's right. That's right, you guys. They stopped Washington on fourth down three times. Mm. Okay. Dallas defense came to play. And, uh, man, I just want to give them their respect really quick, you guys. Dak Prescott, 22 of 32. 331 yards, wow. four touchdowns, mm. no interceptions. He tied Tony Romo for the 10th game of four TDs or more. Man, I love it when you talk that fire Come right on there. Now. And when he threw that last TD and he went over to the bucket and grabbed his turkey leg, it was over. He put the turkey, started eating the turkey on TV, and everybody went wild. I was like, wow, these Six Cowboys minutes look left real. In the game. All I can hear from all broadcasters is like, hey, this is a Super Bowl Dallas Cowboy team. This is their year. That's right. You guys, listen up, okay? As I said, we are going to give respect where respect is due, and then I'm going to flip that shit on you. <laughs> like, <Man. laughs> All right, I listen up. You know, Dallas, you know seven. Oh, but seven real <laughs> quick. Well, my bad. I cut you off. Seven victories by at least 20 points. Man, just blowouts. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Look who they look who they blowing out though. They they blowing out the Giants twice. Talk that talk. They blowing out Washington Commanders. Talk that talk. Um, and so we are gonna get on the Washington side and see what went wrong with them. But you gotta look at the teams they play into. Absolutely. Real quick, Sam Howe. He's that dog. You know what I mean? Rookie, three hundred yards, no touchdowns though. One interception. He did have a rushing touchdown. Uh, just not enough. Just not, not enough. enough okay. Firepower to keep up with the Cowboys who are hitting on all cylinders, even though they only had 100 rushing yards for the game, uh, not enough for the commanders to keep up with that offense. That is absolutely right. As Bro said, you guys, Curtis Samuel, he nine uh, catches of 100 yards, and that pretty much was everybody that showed up for the commanders yesterday. Okay, Dotson, he did have 52 yards. No, 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 no. you missed out, uh, the punter. The punter showed up because all they were doing <laughs> was punting the whole game. <laughs> Get a man a turkey leg. You're punt. right. Ah. Ah, he definitely deserves a turkey leg. That was epic. Okay, you guys. Washington's <laughs> lost the last eight out of ten games. Man, um, man they, that, that brings fire. I'm going to just say it. You know, when you're losing like that and you're losing that big on primetime, somebody got to go. And sure enough, it was Del Rio. Del Rio went and you know what else you Fired. guys he ain't gonna be the only one that's gonna go if they don't get it together Ooh. all right ron rivera maybe next all right what about your boy eric the b enemy you already know i did a take listen eric i don't understand why you left kansas city you could have been uh in contention for a super bowl right now on the road with kansas city now you're in this position you possibly mess up your chance to be head coach in this nfl anytime soon you were in it. Sometimes uh, the grass ain't greener on the other side. Did he level up? Did he get a pay raise? No, nah, I mean, man. Or did Come he, on was now. he just tired of Andy nah, he Reid? Wanted, he must have been tired of Andy Reid because that's the only thing that I could see it was. Because how do you leave that situation for this situation to be in the same somebody coaching position that you were in? The enemy, somebody need to get him in a head coaching job. And here's, what I, here's why I say that. On the Kansas City Chiefs, look what he has done. All right, even though he had Andy Reid there, okay, talk he controlled talk. the offense. And when you look at that Chiefs offense and what they've done and how many Super Bowls and how many times they've been there, okay, I think they need to just give him the job. Ron Rivera, what have you done lately for me? Nothing. So move on, move on over and let okay. the enemy take the job. I respect that. I respect that, you guys. Uh, what are they going to lose? <laughs> yeah, that's true. More games? Man, <laughs> all right, <laughs> more, more game. All right, so as I said, guys, gotta give Cowboys respect where respect is due. Okay, um, 
Dallas is averaging 31.5 points per game, 48% on third downs. They're 7 to 15 on fourth downs, and they're averaging 392 yards per game. Okay, you guys, mm. that's them Dallas Cowboys. And like I said, yesterday was Thanksgiving. Mm. All right, everybody was thankful. I looked at it as more of a Last Supper type of thing. Oh, All right, talking. I'm flipping the script on you, okay? As I said, Dallas Cowboys, listen up. The Last Supper was eight yesterday. Dak was eating turkey legs with six minutes left to go in the game. But the ride is over. Uh, they play Seattle next week. Then you got the Eagles in a rematch. You got Buffalo. Then you got Miami, and you're coming home with Detroit. It ain't going to happen. You're losing out. What? Breaking news on gross <laughs> talking sports. That is right. Dallas that Cowboys won't win another game for the rest of the season. I'm glad you brought that up because the, the schedule difficulty talk is that talk. probably one of the best right now in the NFL. To finish, I knew here, it was coming. You and you not in first place right now, so I see where you're going there. Come on now, and you know who's got your car with the Philadelphia Eagles. Come on now, and so Cowboys, Jerry's world, Jerry Jones, don't get too excited right now. Oh, he's too excited. He, yeah, he's too excited. He knows the strength of schedule, ahead. and he's trying to say some stuff to get the Cowboys fans and get the players hyped up. hyped up. He know he sees his schedule, the schedule, uh, the same schedule everybody else see. Uh, Cowboys, man, man, hope that food was good. I can't wait to this next game. Uh, uh, listen, that that's the only questionable game on the schedule is the Seahawks. And I promise you, just because I'm a Hawks fan, the Hawks going in there, breaking the 13th uh, home winning streak, and we're going to get it done. All right, you guys, 12 fans stand up. And uh, that's, like I said, the only questionable one. Gino, we're going to get to you in a minute. But, uh, yeah. All right. Let's do it. it. All right. It. I'm hyped on the Cowboys right now, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hyped. Bro, never like the Cowboys. Eagles, Cowboys, nah. Nah, man, but our grandpa, he was a Cowboy fan. Everybody oh, was like, in the 90s, you know, so every, I loved him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, come on, Troy, yeah. Emmett. Troy, yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. All right, all right. Listen up. Next up, you guys, the last game of the day, the afternoon noon, when a lot of people was taking naps. Mm. They got their plates in them, they ate their pies, all the oh, everything, yeah. you know. Feeling real good. Feeling real good. They uh pretty much was sleeping on this one because uh we had the San Francisco 49ers mm. coming into Seattle. Yes. And it Bro. was it was it was it was it was one sided. I'm gonna just put it out there. Absolutely. Seahawks, I don't know what y'all was thinking. You can't block for your quarterback. You got the 49ers defense doing crawls on Geno Smith Come on and now. uh talking about feed me some more. So uh I think the Niners went in there, they got it done with Christian McCaffrey putting up uh, over a hundred yards, two touchdowns. Balling. Man, that kid just in the stop. first half. First half. In the first half. That is crazy. You guys, the Niners did their thing. Obviously they're in the same division. This is a divisional game. They took a two game lead over my Seahawks. Seahawks fall to six and four. Seahawks ain't looking too good. That's right, you guys. We only had 220 total yards. Pete Carroll might be uh, on the hot seat. Pete, I feel that. But listen up, man. You know who I think is on the hot seat? Who? Gino. Okay. All they right. just gave him a nah, deal. Nah, nah, nah. Just because they give somebody their money don't mean they could trade him. But Can't they oh, but they wrote him off. So, hey, listen up. <laughs> Gino Smith said they wrote <laughs> me off right, right, right back. back. Yesterday, breaking news, you guys, on Bro's Talking Sports, it was Thanksgiving. Geno Smith spent his whole day writing letters. <laughs> Gino, make sure you send me my letter. I need oh, it. All right, you guys. He the spent mail. the entire day writing letters, okay? Because yeah. 180 yards. That's it? 180 yards, Gino. No touchdowns. One interception. Yes, he was playing hurt and was sacked six damn times, but that's no excuse. Hey, you said this it. is a divisional game. You're at home on Thanksgiving. You know the stakes. You're at home. You're, you know, put that shoot that shot at the Toro or whatever y'all do, and play sling that thing 180 yards. That's not, not enough. Unacceptable, Gino. All you right. let your teammates down. You let me down watching from home. Come on, and you let your family down. You can't do that. Come on now. Put the ball in the air. Put it in the end zone. Run the ball or do something. Don't be taking those sacks. Come on, guys. You guys disappointed us. I'm not even going to lie. You can make it up on Sunday, though, when you beat the Cowboys. But listen, though, Seahawks, we lost the last two games in the last five days. That's huge for the Seahawks, you guys. Um, put a lot of pressure on us, so I do understand. But it, I'm not excusing it. 
Now, All right, I just understand it. Gino, he's just not that guy. He's not but that guy. But I can't just put that all on Gino. I got to put that on the team. Okay. Not only the, the, the Gino offensive not line show up, the O line didn't show up. Receivers. Neither did the defense show up defense. because this game was over by halftime. Okay. And so you know, if, nobody, if it's a home game, you got twelve men supposed to, twelve men stand up, but you got That's you, true. you got you got twelve men in the stand sitting down. That so nobody showed up for Seattle, and 49ers get the W, they get and the they w. are that mu far, much further ahead of the Seahawks. That's right, guys. This is the fourth straight win they beat our Seahawks, man. Man, they got their card. Come on now. They are balling on us right now. Purdy, 209 yards, one touchdown, one interception. It was returned, as bro said. Uh, Debo, 79 yards, and Ayuk, 50 yards. But this was about the defense. Six sacks man. that they put on us. Bosa, Joey Bosa. Two sacks, seven and a half for the entire year. Man. Hargrove, one and a half sacks. Armstead and Gibson had one sack each. Okay, you guys, they was dominant. They looked like they were Super Bowl bound. This is the way that they're going to play going forward. Man, it's going to be scary. And Seahawks, I wouldn't count them out just yet. They I'm are not. still in the hunt. I'm not. They are they smacking the Cowboys. Back. And uh, so are the Rams. So that division is just stacked, oh, and we'll Rams, see how that yeah. plays out. The Rams. the Rams beat us twice. Yeah. Come on now. Hey, uh, the 49ers play Philly next. That will be probably the game of the week coming mm. up, bro. That's going to be huge. Make sure you guys tune in to Bro Talking Sports. That's going to be epic. Okay? Game of the week. Tune in. Tune in. Let's Jalen see. Hurts out there. Bro, Ooh, Jalen Hurts, over. Purdy. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to really get the best of the best here, okay? Niners got the best squad. Oh, make sure you tune in. tune in. Tune in. Tune in. Let's see. All right, you guys. Who you taking? Subscribe.